Hi, and welcome to All About Chemistry. Now today we are going to talk about entropy. Not exactly we are going to talk about the topic, but we are going to understand it in a different way. So when we study about entropy, there are two things which comes in our textbook, right? There is one definition of it through chemical thermodynamics, which says that it's the degree of disorder or randomness in the system. It's given by del S is equals to del Q by T. Whereas we have one more definition of it based upon statistical thermodynamics, which says that it depends upon the probability or the number of arrangements or the microstates of the system. And it's denoted by S is equals to K ln omega. Now, believe me or not, but this particular definition is more promising. It makes more sense. Let's understand how. Let's look upon this equation. This says that S is equals to K ln omega where omega over here is the number of arrangements or the microstates. This seems pretty confusing, right? But just hold on, I'll explain you. Just think about physical phenomena, melting of an ice, cooling down of a mug of coffee. Why does it actually happen? To understand this, let's consider two solids, solid A and solid B. Both of them are tetrahedral in structure, having six bonds each. Now, the energy of the body resides inside the bond. The energy stays inside the bonds between the two atoms. For the sake of simplicity, I am going to express the entropy with this symbol. And I am going to express entropy in terms of quanta. So, a single amount of energy will be called as one quanta of energy. So, the energy acquired by one of the bond will be said to be one quanta of energy. Let's say I have total six quanta of energy and it is distributed between two solids A and B equally like 3 quanta of energy in solid A and 3 quanta of energy in solid B. In that particular case, both of them are going to have approximate similar temperature because higher the energy, higher will be the temperature of the solid. So the temperature depends directly upon the energy. That is one thing which we know. There can be different arrangements of it. We can have that all the six quanta of energy is given to solid A and there is zero quanta of energy in solid B. Now over here, the solid A and solid B both are actually in contact with each other and they can share energy among each other. So the six quanta of energy can be distributed among all these two solids A and B in these particular ways. Right now on your screen, you can see the different numbers of arrangements which are possible. I have labeled them as A, B, C, D, E, F and G. Whereas in the second column, you will see the amount of quanta of energy in solid A, the total number of arrangements in which these six quanta of energy can be distributed among A and B is shown in the fourth column subsequently in the front of all the arrangements. The probabilities of these total energy is expressed in the last column. Over. Now it is very clear that in row D, we have the highest number of arrangements and we have the highest amount of probability. And if you look upon the quanta of energy, how it is distributed between solid A and B. So these are equally distributed. That is three quanta of energy to solid A and three quanta of energy to solid B. Now let's try to plot it in a graph. Now this particular graph shows the exact the same thing which we saw in the table, which is being plotted in the terms of graph. You can see that in arrangement D, we have the highest peak or you can say that we have the highest energy. Looking at the definition of entropy, which says that S is equals to K ln omega, where omega was the number of arrangements, so we can say that the D column has the highest entropy because it has the highest number of arrangements. So based upon this, we can say that if the energy is equally distributed between A and B, it gives rise to the highest entropy. Looking back at our systems, solid A and solid B, Again, if we have six quanta of energy in solid A having the higher temperature and solid B is having zero quanta of energy having a lower temperature. So obviously solid A will be hotter compared to solid B. So solid B is at a lower temperature. right Now, now if the energy get distributed, just like the arrangements which we saw, let's say two quanta of energy is given to solid B, the temperature of solid B will raise a little bit because it has a little bit more amount of energy now from the previous condition. And if we equally distribute the energy between A and B, the temperature of A and B will 
approximately become equal to each other because they will have the equal amount of energies in their bond. Now that you understood, you can easily tell that why when you bring a hot mug of coffee near to a ice, it melts. Because the energy from this hot mug of coffee is being distributed to all the bonds of the ice. And ice gains entropy and that's how it melts. Because you know that ice will have a lower entropy compared to the entropy of your water. That comes from the first definition of entropy which we have studied in the chemical thermodynamics. That means entropy is the measurement of randomness. Now when the ice melts, it goes to the higher randomness, right? Because in the liquid phase, it will have more randomness compared to the solid phase. Entropy plays a very important role in our physical life. Melting of ice, cooling down of a mug of coffee, deflation of tires. It's all because of entropy. What we can understand from this given explanation is that entropy provides direction to the flow of energy. The energy moves towards that particular direction where you have higher entropy. Higher entropy means higher number of arrangements or higher probability. So what we can summarize from this particular video is that a system moves towards higher entropy because the higher entropy is statistically more likely. So whatever system you have, if there is possibility of having a higher entropy in that particular system, it will move towards that. And with that, it will attain a higher energy. The summary of this video, you can just tell in two lines that if the energy has an opportunity to spread out, it will. So that's all for this particular video, guys. I hope you like this particular video. If you like it, give it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed it yet and share it with your friends. It's a totally new concept which I have tried to launch on the YouTube channel. I hope you guys like this particular video. If you liked it, do let me know in the comment section. That's all from my side guys. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.